Hey everybody, welcome to Spiky Saturday number 323. We're back to Double Masters, you know the good format. I see a Master Biomancer that I'm going to have to reread. I remember having fun with it. Four mana, two, four. Each other creature you control enters the battlefield with number of additional plus one counters on it equal to Master Biomancer's power and as a mutant in addition to his other types. So as long as it's on the battlefield, every single thing is going to get two plus one plus one counters at a bare minimum. Not bad. Jeskai Ascendancy wasn't great for limited, right? Whenever you cast a non-creature, yeah. It was an all-star in constructed, but not so much in limited. So I kind of really like an Experiment 1 Master Biomancer start. Uh, on Wednesday on stream, we got demolished by some Experiment 1 uh, green-white counter decks that we've never seen in the double masters that I've played so far. And then suddenly in one draft, we got crushed by two of them. <laughs> so we could definitely give that a go. Let me just make sure this was, this was original RTR block, right? Each other creature you control. Yeah. The card's just great. It was a mythic. If I'm, if I'm remembering correctly and it was Simic, which means it had to be in gate. Rash, I think is where Simic was, if I remember correctly. But yeah, let's take that experiment one and the Master Biomancer. So we're going to look for kind of green whitish counters. Mentor of the Meek, uh, downshifted to an uncommon, is a, a decent card in that counters deck because you play low cost stuff, which means you can draw cards off the Mentor and then you make them better with counters. Um, that I think is the white pick here. Is there anything that just makes us change what we're playing? Fire Song and Sunspeaker. Six mana, pretty expensive for a 4-6 that hopefully turns all of your burn, which is premium and hard to get, into lifelinking stuff. Um, whenever you cast White Answer Sorcery Spell, you, that causes you to gain life, also a little bit tricky. I think I might just be on the Mentor of the Meek here and take a look at green white i don't want the altasaur or the changeling the red is not pulling me in the black is not pulling me in there is a cryptic spires but i think the mentor is better abzan ascendancy should i have read this uh etb is plus 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 car uh also not amazing and limited so we'll take that mentor see where we can go we tried to make thousand year storm work on stream i think i looted it away every single time i had the option uh, we've got a second experiment one and a path to exile, both of which are very good. Path is just great removal. I think we just have to take great removal when we see it. I'm almost having to train myself back to uh, good magic sets where removal was powerful. Um, so yeah, we'll take a path to exile here. We're going to kind of like splash this Biomancer for the moment, I think. Now, Chronicler of Heroes is a good thing in that counters deck. You get those counters, and then this is three mana, three, three, draw a card, which is great. Three mana, three, three, still okay, but way better if it draws a card. There's a Seeker, which wears counters well. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to take a Chronicler here. I think I know what I want to do. Inoc Bondkin, uh, any, any Outlast creature is what you want. The Inoc Bondkin, the Abzan Falconer, the Tuskard Captain that's also in this pack. But First Strike is uh, your real first step towards making the counter deck a little bit nutty. So we'll certainly pick up that Inoc. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's a chance we get that Tuskard Captain as well, but let's take the Bondkin. Here I see a Relief Captain. Which, hey, is a way of putting a plus one, plus one counter on up to three creatures. You don't want a ton of them, because if it's a four, if it's a four mana three, two that does nothing, that's terrible. If it's a four mana three, two that puts one counter on something, that's not good. Two counters, it's pretty dang good. And if you get the full three, it's just great. So we'll take one, and then we'll go from there. Op Nexus going around. It's a fine card. Um... So is it charm kicking around? But yeah, we'll take that relief, Captain. It's right in our wheelhouse. Battlefield promotion is not something that I want to prioritize. It, it gives a counter, but 
there's better ways of doing that. I think we just take the cryptic spires here because we are certainly looking to splash blue. So we'll take that. It's basically free. I've been loving this set. <laughs> this set just feels so good. If you haven't played it, I strongly encourage you to boot up MTGO and give it a go. It's the same price as doing a uh, Magic Arena draft. Gives you way better prize support. So much fun. If you can do it in paper, I would love to know how you have that much disposable income, <laughs> but it's an option as well. Um, I'm not sold on any of this. Angel of Valor, whenever creature attacks, you can pay three when you do put a plus plus one counter on it. That's so much mana for what this does. I can't imagine we have to play this. Grapple, I'm not super into. It's fine in certain decks. Sensor Splicer is much better if you're flickering it and getting a bunch of those three threes. So we could take a Burning Tree Emissary. It's green, green, two, two that ramps, but that's not a great option. Let's take the Anointer, but I highly doubt it makes the deck. Scale Blessing, Bolster. Gotta refresh myself on Bolster. Because how is Bolster different than Support? Bolster, pick a creature with the least toughness and put a counter on it. Support is just a counter on uh, N number of creatures. We can play a, a Scale Blessing. It's not the most amazing thing, but it's the only real pick here. <laughs> Nobody likes Fire Song and uh, Sun Speaker. I don't know if we'd play a Doom Traveler, but we could pick one up. Nothing here I want. I'm just going to hate out a, a Bear's Companion. Nothing here. We're going to hate out a Fireblade. Uh, let's hate out a Cartel Aristocrat. Let's hate out a Lashwire. And let's get rid of an Iguaner. All right. Second half of the pa of that pack was not great, but a lot of what we want is common, which is nice. Travel preps the <laughs> scourge of original Innistrad is at uncommon now, but would be incredible to get one or two of those in this deck. Ah, oh, that just makes me want to draft original Innistrad again. That's such a good set. Until you get run over by a invisible stalker. Another green blue. What are you? Azuri, Claw of Progress. Two green blue, three, three. Whenever a creature with power two or less ETB is under your control, you, gain, you, you get an experience counter. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put X plus one plus one counters on another target creature you control where X is the number of experience counters you have. Well, that seems like another really good splash. <laughs> uh, and we've got another Chronicler. There's a Centaur Battlemaster, which gets counters, but we have to target the Battlemaster, and it's a 5-mana 3-3, three, three, which is pretty bad. You have to get those counters for it to start to be good. Um, there's a Last Breath of Knightly Valor. There's a Cryptic Spires, because now we are splashing two blue cards, so we do definitely want to get our mana going but I don't hate a chronicler and an Azuri claw of progress good old Kalia in here I can't imagine Kalia is great because it's not like there's a ton of angel demons and dragons kicking around at common and uncommon unfortunately but yeah let's take Azuri let's take chronicler gives us uh, an Arachnus Spinner. This lets us find an Arachnus Web, right? 5-7 for 6, reach. Tap an untapped spider you control. Probably this one. Search your graveyard or library for a, a web. And then battlefield it. That's nifty. But we're obviously just taking another Inok Bondkin here. They are a glue to the deck. Because even if you don't outlast it, whatever else has counters on it now has first strike. So... Easy Inoch Bondkin here. In the deck you go. <laughs> Second Relief Captain. Like I said, I don't want a 
ton of those. I do want to fill up my twos and threes so that we have things for our relief captains to hit. Um, so I think I'm taking a Cryptic Spires here instead, just to make my mana good. I think we can probably get our second relief captain. We don't want an anointer. We don't want this first one. Um, I don't think we're playing blue so much as we are splashing a pair of mythics or a mythic and a, a used to be mythic. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Gross. Not much here. <clears throat> Teferi's protection is bad. It's basically just fog. And it feels really bad taking a Doomed Traveler or a Might of Old Krosa this highly. But that's what we're going to do. Because even if we look at blue, there's one card. Bad pack. Bad pack. Let's take a Might of Old Krosa. Biogenic upgrade. That makes counters, if I remember right. Distribute three among one, two, or three. Then double. That's nifty. We could certainly play one of those. There's also an Ambuscade and another Chronicler. I'm going to take the Biogenic just because we may see another Ambuscade. We may see another Chronicler. We're probably not going to see another Biogenic upgrade. Well, there's the web. You're in our colors. You're a 5-8. For a low, low cost of 8 mana. With flying and Shroud. And all damage that would be that would be dealt to me is dealt to this angel instead. So they have to deal eight damage to me to kill this. That seems bad. <laughs> that casting cost is just unreasonable. So we will not be taking that. Nor are we taking Glenelendra. So we're taking a web. It might make the main deck, we'll see. Not much here. This is a pretty free cryptic spires. I can't imagine we have to play this Angel, so let's kick that out. So Azuri, remind me, is power? Power, two or less? So that would be Experiment 1, Doom Traveler. Is it cast or ETB? ETB, so that would be the spirit off the Traveler. Bondkin, Bondkin, Mentor. Not Macronicalers, though. But my Biomancer. Um, well, there's a Tusk Guard Captain. Pretty handy. Destroy target artifact. Put target creature. Okay. Eh. Yeah, I want a Tusk Guard Captain for sure. Um, question. They enter the battlefield with the counter. So if we have Biomancer and Azuri out, Azuri is no longer going to uh, uh, proc. I don't know why I jumped back into WoW lingo there. Um, but oh no, I have both of my Mythics out. <laughs> what a horrible world that would be. Uh, we can put the Centaur Battlemaster in. I can't imagine we play it. Um, a Brindle Shoat is not a thing we're going to play. I don't care about any of this. Uh, Recluse for the side, I guess, if there's flyers. Uh, let's cut a sack outlet. And then we still have pack three to, to finish this off. I would like to finish it off with two drops. Just like four more two drops. And an ambuscade instead of this arachnus web. <clears throat> I need an Abzan Falconer. That's something I need. They're common. Should hopefully see one. All right, pack three. Make it good. Make it good. Good cards. Well, neither of those rares are for us, so what else do we have? Oh god. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, um. Hmm. Um, well, we have a relief captain.
and a rampant growth. That's a bad pack for us. That's a great card, not for us. That's a great card, not for us. It's a pretty dang good card, not for us. That's a very good card, not for us. I don't know if Shatter Gang's good and constructed. Eh, probably not. Um, yeah, I think it's Relief Captain Rampant Growth, which is not amazing. Something better here. We got another Tusk Guard Captain. And no white cards. No mono white cards, anyways. So I think we're just taking another Tusk Guard here. <laughs> yep. We've already played with this Planeswalker. It was okay. Uh, there's another Experiment 1, and there's an Ambuscade. I kind of want both. But let's take the Experiment 1. And maybe that's me not learning that you take removal, not creatures. We've got a winged coatl, which would be a, a roughish splash. Like, a, you don't want to splash a 1-1 one, one flying death toucher. You want to splash nutso cards. Uh, so otherwise we're looking at... Boy, the white cards have disappeared, eh? They have just disappeared. We might have to play an Annoyed Altasaur. I suspect people near me are very much in white aggro. So Seeker of the Way, unless this card is good. What do you do? You're a 1-1 one, one for 2. Pay 4 to Flicker. Uh, flicker my creature or their creature that's nifty but like we're not really doing anything with it and I think a seeker is kind of exactly what I want Ulamog well we do have a rampant growth um 6 25 24 23 so we're, we're just at playables now um I don't want more to Doom Travelers. I'm not a huge fan of this Doom Traveler, but it'll work. Um, yeah, let's take away somebody's ramp target. Um, we've got another Cryptic Spires. We've got a Battlefield promotion. Web Weaver Changeling, 3-5 reach ETBs. If there's three or more creature cards in your graveyard, gain five life. That's not very good. Um, how many Cryptics do we have? Three? I can go for a fourth. Hey, 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 hey. Um, all right. Uh, they're not in white, or this was a ludicrously white pack, because we've got a bounce land that we want, so we're taking it. But I would love a third Bondkin. A Wingsteed Rider's okay. But yeah, let's take that bounce land. I'd be very happy about that. Nobody took Dax Duplicate. Is it not just four mana clone? Four mana clone... With haste and dethrone. Wild. Super wild. Do I think there's a chance I'm going to play a Lee of Sky Knight? There's a chance. It's not a high chance, but there's a chance. Uh, let's hate somebody's Aether Snipe. Let's take another one of these. So 29, 26, 25, 24, 28, 29. Did I go 29 to 26? I think I did. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. We just need one cut. And it can certainly be a creature, so it can be this annoyed Altasaur. And there we go. We can do green, blue, white, blue, green, blue, white, blue. That gives us four blue sources without even playing an island. Yeah. This deck might do some work. Could definitely use... Some travel preps. Could definitely use some more two drops. We'll check our library to see if there's any more two drops kicking around. But I don't think there are. 
don't think there are, unfortunately. I love this set. Oh man, I love this set. All right, we want blue, green, blue, green, white, blue, white, blue. Let's add some lands. Five, two, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen white pips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen green pips. What if six, six, zero? So that gives us six, eight, that gives us eight green, uh, sorry, nine green, nine white, four blue. Rampant growth to go and find whatever we need, be it a cryptic spires, be it a bounce land. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do have, we do have two, two drops. They're not exciting. Brindle Shote and a deadly recluse. The Brindle showed is cute in that it would trigger Biomancer slash Azuri and then die and then it would enter with Biomancer counters. How am I hitting this Battlemaster? Might of old Krosa? And scale blessing? Yeah, that centaur battlemaster cannot be in our deck. Cannot be in there. Because we're not playing a 5 mana 3-3 three, three that requires two specific cards from our deck to uh, actually do something. Um, yeah, I think I want to load up my two drops. So I think we'll, we'll put in just a dumb little brindle show. Let's go with that. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. So I tried to play ramp on stream and got crushed by this deck twice. So on her, we're going to get crushed by ramp decks. <laughs> we first picked Kozilek. We got a bunch of ramp. And then we had the issue that ramp decks fall into, which is if you don't draw your ramp early, you'd lose. I've won the die roll. I'm going to play first. Those are some lands. Um, yeah, that's a keep. But what is the sequencing? Is there any way of us getting Biomancer out on four? Yes, if we go Spires, Sanctuary, Spires, Forest, that's a Biomancer on four. But that means that's... That means our first thing that we're doing is not until four. So let's see if we happen to draw anything else worthwhile. Because we could also do Mentor on three. Well, now we can do Bondkin on three, Biomancer on four. So yeah, let's go Sanctuary, bounce the Spires, pass the turn. And then we'll play the Spires, play the Bondkin. Harden Scales. Everybody is playing this friggin' deck. What did I tell you? I wonder if there was an article or something. I wonder if that's how if that's how it's gonna be. Um boy, what if instead of Bondkinning we just get a whole bunch of mana going? Because that would give us five mana, which could change some decisions. And we're about to start missing land drops anyways. Now what is this? If one or more plus one plus one counters... Right, right, right. Eh, surely we just have to get stuff going. It's me. We'll find lands.
Three mana, what do they got? They've got a Chronicler of Heroes, no value. That I'm pretty cool with. Let's get this Biomancer down. Hope it lives. We'll have to dodge like a Path of Exile. And that's about it, I think. Maybe an Ambius Gate, actually. Well, there's the path. So hey, it's like we cast a Rampant Growth anyways. Pretty rude, pretty rude, but they missed their mana. It looks like they might be missing a land drop possibly, yes? Okay, okay. So we have our opening. So one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So we could Sky Knight and Mentor. Doesn't sound too bad to me. So let's get in for two. Let's drop a Sky Knight. Detaining that Chronicler. And let's drop a Mentor of the Meek. Pass the turn. Seeker of the Way and another Miss Land Drop. Another Miss Land Drop. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to outlast this. And then we're going to slam. And then we're going to scale blessing. And then things might get a little gross. Oh, wait. Bolster is not support, right? Bolster is toughness, so it would go on the Sky Knight anyways. Um, yeah, I probably just want to do this anyways. They're, they're hurting, so we may as well put the hurt on. Take them down to 11. So they're getting pretty dead in the air here. That experiment one can grow really well with the hardened scales. So we do need them dead as soon as possible. Can easily take five. God's willing just to get the lifelink, that's fine. So we take six, go to 11, they go to 14. <laughs> And we're swinging back in for a chomp. Not a land. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. That'll work. White, green, green, white. Let's support everything on our board. Everything on our board. And let's casually attack in for uh, 14. Also known as lethal. Good chumps. And we'll Rampant Growth just to get a land out of our deck. They're also dead in the air anyways, so, you know. They're dead several ways from Sunday. Yeah. Two lands ain't gonna do it. And hey, look at that. We had a lot of non-lands going. Okay, so it's the mirror match. Um, what do we do about the mirror match? I feel like a death toucher probably can do some work. And that's kind of it for our sideboard, eh? We had a lot of a couple of like halves of packs where we just didn't get playable. So let's go back in. Hmm. One lander with a traveler. No, that's not a, that's not a keep. That's better and not great. Let's throw away a forest. So barring good draws, we're going to Rampant Growth on two. That's an experiment one on turn one. Seems good. So I'll do it too. Because that makes our Chronicler on three look very good. Because it'll give the experiment the counter and everybody will be happy. I am not trading the experiments. Thank you. Makes me question why you would offer that. Chancery Bouncery. Sounds good. Ooh, hello, Bondkin. Bondkin in Grow the Experiment 1. Get in for 2. Our Experiment 1 has First Strike now. Chronicler will make that Experiment 1 a 3-3 First Strike and draw us a card. 
Arachnus Web, not great against the counter deck, but oh well. Um, we do have more Bondkins, you know. No, they have God's Willing. That's a heavy-duty pass of the turn there. You got nothing? They got nothing. All right. Let's make that a 3-3. Let's draw ourselves a card. It's a land, of course. Let's five them. You can one me all you want. I'm going to five the heck out of you. Down to 13. Three, six, seven, eight on the board. Arachnus Web, a Tusk Guard Captain, sounds not bad. Sounds like a very good plan, in fact. Azuri. All right, let's play the Cryptic Spires. Let's tap down the Captain. And then let's smashy smashy. If they want to trade with the Bondkin, I'm super happy with that. They don't. They just want to go to five. Sounds good. <clears throat> Gnarl back Rhino. So they got a 4 4 trample. So they got a 3 3 and a 4 4. The 4 4 is slightly scary. We are whiffing a little bit on lands. Oh, I should have played the untapped land so we could have outlasted. Um, let's drop Azuri. If we attack, they eat, eat, go to two. That's not good enough. Uh, I will put counters on this, but we don't have any experience, so no counters. All right, let's draw creatures. Low power creatures, two power. That's what we need. Kasali Pride Mage. Okay, so they can sack that, blow up the Arachnus Web. Doesn't change much. They have three blockers either way. But it does mean they can start outlasting, but that would mean they would only have two blockers and would die. So that would not be wise. Uh, they are going to thrive. Put plus one, plus one counter on each of X target creatures. Okay. So they're making their things bigger. That's fine because they're not attacking me. Not a chance are they attacking me. All right. Non-land. Oh, it's a land. Well, let's get a land out. There's so few lands left. Let's outlast while we can because we're not attacking. Pass the turn. Let's stop drawing lands. No more. They're down to three cards in hand. They're going to flicker wisp my exper experiment one, I assume. Oh, they're going to flicker wisp their captain. Okay. Smart. They're not playing on defense. They're playing on... They're playing to win. And if we just keep drawing lands, we probably do let them win, in fact, because we are just drawing lands, and that is bad news. <sighs> I've had, what, six draws? And we kept a three lander? So we've drawn, we've drawn six lands. 
Oh, they've got a travel prep? Yeah, they're going to win. <laughs> uh, we needed to draw actual things. Flashback travel prep. So they've got a 6-6 six, six Rhino and they've got a 5-3 Flicker Wisp. Everything's got trample. Is there a chance I'm dead? 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. No, I wouldn't be dead because I could block 9 of the 21. But I'll be dead uh, this turn. Biogenic upgrade. All right. Let's make everything four. We still don't have attacks. Or do we? Because they have to attack they have to block every single one of these. But it would be eat chump chump. Attack me for 11, 12, 13, 14. You can block there. Boy, that's almost tempting to try. That's almost tempting to try because they are just going to win before too, too long. What if I attack with everything? They eat that. Because they don't have to block this. They eat that. They chump and chump. Yeah, no, I have to be able to block something. All right, let's try that. Because we don't have infinite time. We have basically this turn. So they're going to eat Azuri. They do have to chump that Chronicler, though. Azuri ain't doing much when I can't draw creatures. So they chump there, and then they're going to have... 6, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, they're getting rid of their trample. That's huge for us. They're going to regenerate experiment one. Right. I don't have trample. Did I super miss math there? Block. Take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That would kill me. Block, take 5, 11. Yeah, I think I missed math there. I think I'm just dead. I think I wasn't thinking about the experiment one regeneration. Or I was thinking it had less counters than it did. Oh, I'm super dead. Cool. <laughs> what was on top? More lands. Gross. All right. All right. <clears throat> I think we can do it. We just need to not, not flood out like that. Uh, let's go back in. And let's not flood. I'm going to play first. Hmm. This throws me slightly off curve, but I can keep it. Like we're going to do experiment one on two. And then seeker on three hold up might. I think. Nobody uses chat anymore, do they? Doesn't look like it. All right, crypt expires down past that turn. Forest and experiment one. Oh, hardened scales. Must be nice. Also, I can't believe that four of my last, or three of my last four matches have been against green-white counters. I feel like there must have been an article published or something. 
So remind me on mentor. Mentor is one. Okay, so yeah, we definitely want to play mentor here. Get the evolve trigger. Because then seeker, as a worst case scenario, is a three mana that draws a card. So we'll get in for two. We'll look to play seeker. What do they got on three? A falconer? That could be worth exiling. We'll see if we can convince them to do a dumb block. Um, so yeah, let's see if they'll do a dumb block. There's literally no reason for them to block here. It would be really dumb of them. They are not that dumb. Let's get our bondkin going and draw a card off of it. Deadly recluse. Okay. <clears throat> It would be really nice to have a land in order to be able to scale Blessing. They're just going to outlast their Falconer. That's fine. We'll path it before too, too long. That's a Chronicler that's going to draw them a card. Is there any chance that we path the Chronicler? Not Well, we have scale Blessing out. So we are going to Salam, see if they block. I can't imagine they do... No, they smell it. So two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight, nine. No, we don't do that just yet. We hit them down to eight. We drop a seeker of the way. No, we drop a deadly recluse. Uh, and we pay for this holding up the path to exile. And this feels like a pretty good position for us. <clears throat> Wingsteed Rider, sure. Sure, sure, sure. They're going to travel prep. Seems good. So everything flies. Welp, we're going to kill the 6-6. Six, six. So let's get rid of that. And then one, two, three, four. We're going to need one more land to be able to potentially kill them slash eat stuff. And not an untapped land, or not a tapped land. So, I mean, Scale Blessing on the Deadly Recluse sounds hilarious to me. So we're doing that. So we're saying, hey, opponent. Are you a chicken? Are you chicken? They're chicken. We can't kill them, right? We could do plus two, three, four. We could take them to four. That's not quite enough. So we will just drop a Chronicler of Heroes. Evolving, drawing a card. Ooh, hello, Master Biomancer. <clears throat> Tusk Guard Captain, they got Trample. Still don't think they're attacking me, though. Down to two cards in hand. No attacks. Smart. There's a land. Welp. Bolster, not support. Holy crap, one of these days I'll remember the difference between bolster and support. I could not choose to target the deadly recluse. It would hit the bondkin. If I outlast the bondkin, that's no longer a problem. However, 
I think I just want to jam down this Biomancer. Oh, oh, oh. Did I not tap for blue? Blue. Let's drop a Biomancer and let's draw a card off of it. Ooh, plus we get the Evolve too. Nifty. Okay, that is a pass of the turn as we continue to establish potential dominance here. They're down to two cards. Let's so put them down to one. Bounty of the Luxa, not a problem. One card in hand. Tell me what it is or you're gonna die. Probably just dead anyways, right? Cast the travel prep. So they've got a single card in hand and a red mana up. So block, 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 take two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they should be dead. Oh, well, yeah, let's make them real dead. Let's give my things with counters trample. Trample and first strike. And then let's come on and slam. And then, depending on blocks, we should be able to might have old cross of them to death. I didn't actually go carefully through the math, but two, four, five, six, seven does appear to be math to me. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hey! <laughs> A counter deck one. Shocking, shocking conclusion there that a counter deck one, but a counter deck one. That is, of course, 50% of our money back. I'm going to repeat that forever because here's the thing. I actually thought, I actually thought that that's what Arena Cube was like, and I just wasn't mentioning it. But no, Arena Cube has the same prizes for two and one as MTGO Phantom does, and I think 3-0. and oh. But on Arena, if you go 1-2, and two, you get basically Jack Squat. You get random individual card rewards. Woo! Because that's what you want as a Phantom Drafter, right? We're going to play first. Um, sure. Sure. Slow. Sure. So that's a Traveler on two, which is not where you want a Traveler. Or it's a Growth. Let's see what they do. They do a blue-red. Okay. Oh, what if instead we just had two creatures on turn two? They're not big creatures. But they exist. Our opponent's not playing anything. I like that. Tusk guard captain, hello. Let's tusk guard it up. Get a counter. Experiment's got trample. Three him. Three him good. Jeskai elder. Jeskai elder missed land drop. I actually don't want to path them. <laughs> I actually don't want to path them. So let's get a counter on experiment one, as well as draw ourselves a card, another Chronicler. Let's get in for five, down to 12. Cold Steel Heart, that's gonna help their land situation. Still no attacks though here. Calling black, so they might actually have been off of a color as well. Um, well, 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 three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, let's keep the Chronicles going. Draw another card, play that Cryptic Spires. Let's get in for three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can path basically whatever they play here and then win. Or just win anyways. That was fast. That experiment, <laughs> we drew really, really well there as my my skill 
showed itself. Uh, <laughs> that experiment one into Tuscard, into Chronicler, into Chronicler. That was uh, pure luck. Uh, skill. Sorry. Skill. 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 It was pure skill. Skill. We're going to keep that. That's an experiment one into a bondkin into trouble for our opponent. As our experiment will have first strike. Now we just have to hope we can get this Biomancer down before too, too long. That is a Selesnia Sanctuary, but I would rather play that on three just to get this going. Let's get in for two. Because that way we can, worst case scenario, drop a Seeker of the Way and then Sanctuary. They've got a Sedraxis Spectre, so whenever it hits me, I have to discard. That's pretty gross, but... I can mostly attack into it. In for two. I'm fine to discard this stupid Brindle shout. Uh, drop the Seeker, play the Sanctuary, bounce the planes. <clears throat> so they're going to three me. We're going to throw away this crappy Brindle shout. Get out of here. You're trash. You were put in the deck because you were cheap. Four mana, they've got themselves a Mist Fire Adept. I might want to kill that. So we're going to do that. Get rid of that. Get a Prowess. So this will be three, four, five, six, seven. This will drop them to nine. So let's drop them to nine. <laughs> I could have really used an Ambuscade, you know? Boy, I really don't want to throw anything away here, but I think it's got to be the Biomancer. We don't know that we're going to draw one of the, like, four tap lands that we need. Just a Jeskai Elder? Sure. Oh, I don't want them to hit me with that again, but they're going to, and that's going to suck. One, two, three, four, five. We don't have the six. Well, but we could top deck a land. We're very good at that. All right. Don't have a spell, but, I mean, they've got three mana and four cards. Pretty guaranteed here. But we ain't winning if we ain't attacking. All right. Uh, we ain't winning. <laughs> Period. Uh, we ain't winning. We had a good start, and then we kind of kind of chugged. Taking three, discard in the forest. These specters are good. I've had a few people play them against me. They're just really annoying. So we want the um, the the recluse in over that stupid brindle shout. I might actually just want that brindle shout in. All right, so they're gonna extract from darkness what? Currently a biomancer. Still gonna take my biomancer as we all milled lands. Four lands. Two off my library. Two off theirs. <laughs> Okay. Arachnus web. Yeah, we're feeling pretty toast here. Let's web their specter so that that stops happening. Let's outlast to make this bigger. But I mean, they just have to not flood and they are going to crush us. Oh, I'm going to click this button. <laughs> Oof. Uh, 
Ufa. Recluse, get in. Shoot, get out. Okay. Let's go back in. Let's do it better. Let's do it better. <laughs> what does leak details do? Oh, shows me the leak. I'm going to play first. This is a hand that I can begrudgingly keep. Sort of. It's not good. It's a Tusk Guard Captain on three. Yikes. Yikes. I have concerns about this one. Hop? Okay. Alright, so let's bounce the plans. Yep, I will lose the mana. So that's a Tusk Guard Captain on, th on three. It's a Cold Steel Heart, so they've got their mana fixed and their rampant. I would appreciate some getting going on our side. Deadly Recluse is not exactly the getting going. It's more of the blocking. <clears throat> Two blue cards in our hands kind of sucks. They're going to top at their upkeep. So they're going to look at the top three and put them back in any order. They basically get to stack their deck for one mana each turn. Three mana, they're going to drop Spectre. Uh-huh. Seems good. Uh, let's ask them if they want to trade. They're not going to want to trade. So let's get another um, Tusk Guard down. We could put the Recluse down to block the Spectre, but I'm fine discarding some blue cards that we're not going to play that well just to present a better board. It's not a great plan, but it's kind of like one of our... Our, our rough plans here. <clears throat> Four mana. All colors. Five cards in hand. Passing the turn feels pretty bad for us. Uh, slam. Eyeblade's ending one of those? That's fine. That's fine. So in for two, let's drop a Recluse. So that'll block and kill the Spectre. Perhaps convince them to not attack. If they don't attack, then we have the chance of Azuri. We also have the chance of Biogenic Upgrade. Although Azuri would be better first so that we can actually get... But we don't need to get three counters on everything. We could do like three counters on the Recluse. Have a four six or a, a four five trampler. Uh secret reach. Not secret reach. That's super bad for us. Our opponent understands that removal is good. A large amount of content creators from that Magic Arena program have told me that a removal is bad. Uh, well, we're going to Azuri. And then we're going to get hit. And we're going to pitch the biogenic, or we're going to pitch the rampant growth, and then we're going to try to biogenic upgrade Azuri and just see if a 6 6 will get there. But I have a feeling that this opponent does not respect those content creators, and that this opponent is ignoring them and has actually drafted removal like an idiot. Bye. 
body doubling, maybe just deadly recluse, Ali of Sky Knight. That's fair. So I will not be attacking, and they are sixing me in the air. And we're dead. We're hyper dead. Hyper mega ultra dead. Nine nine. Why am I so bad? Because you double, you double. I always forget that last part of the sentence. It is a nine nine. Boy, removal. Removal did good. Forbidden alchemy. Uh-huh. What are you digging for? Removal. Throws away a Jeskai Elder and an Extract from Darkness and a Nickel Bolus. Plays a top. Six me. Come on, you've got to have stuff in hand. Six me. There you go. You're not losing this one. Not a chance are you losing this one. Not a freaking chance. Nine him. Then I'm going to hold this forest as though it's something. All right, so they're going to top. will allow them to dig for an answer although they don't even need an answer they have a billion turns because this ain't got trample or anything and both my tusk guard captains are dead six me threes me wants this secret card out of my hand you got it my super secret forest Psychic Symbiont. All right. So they're going to draw a card. So they found themselves yet another flying blocker. And good Lord, can we not draw stuff when we need it? Lands. Lands for days. Lands for all the days. Just nothing but lands. Dear Lord. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in our top. Okay. 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 Well, we still have a chance to go two and one and get all of our money back every single last cent. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's not have land issues. Land issues are dumb. So yeah, I suspect Spiky Saturday will just be double masters. We tried Baldur's Gate last week for Spiky Saturday, and that set is absolute trash garbage. And of course, I had some of the young kids from arena in the comment section bitching and complaining you think that's powerful magic yes i do think that the cards with novels on their six sides are pretty powerful magic so we'll stay away from that and we'll draft the good set experiment one on one Oh, I'm going to keep it. Amazing opening. This opponent is going to be so frustrated at our curve that we have remaining in our hand. Please be a two drop. Close. Close. That will help us a little bit as we draw creatures and draw cards off of them. Black, red, a seeker squire. No counter? Oh, it got a counter. It got a counter. 
Perforos's emissary. You you got a graveyard that, right? It's too expensive. <sighs> okay, more lands. Uh huh. Can't be any more le uh, more of them left on top of the deck. Statistically impossible. I took several years of university level statistics. I know how it works. Literally impossible. I did actually. I used SPSS. I used MATLAB. God, I hated statistics. <laughs> uh, rampant growth. That solves my land issues. Oh, man. The worst part. The worst part about rampant growth is just like looking at the rest of your deck and being like, oh. Oh, all that stuff we could have drawn. Land for their turn into a... Into a four drop skin render. Goodbye, mentor. I rather needed that. Tusk Guard Captain can do some work. That'll evolve up my experiment, which blocks the Seeker's Squire. Um, but yeah. I needed to draw one or two less lands so far. No attacks at all. Given me time. Oh, I certainly like that. Let's outlast that. Let's hold up this scale blessing. Because then we can make this a 5-5 five five on command. This will be a 5-5 five five and this will be a 4-5. They're going to go for the throat my Tusk Guard Captain. That's pretty rude. That's pretty freaking rude. No more land issues. It's the worst. It's the worst. Attack me. Yeah, there we go. All right. One time, no interaction. It's kind of what I'm begging for. It's a little bit weird for you to have attacked with that 2-3, but I also can't just sit on my butt not doing nothing. Kill your skin render? Yes. Uh, okay, I'll remove two counters. So it doesn't kill the skin render because it gets removed from combat due to how regeneration works. And we draw another land. <laughs> mm. Even the best formats show you the flaws of Magic the Gathering. But I think this is still a good example. Like these are, well, this is a pretty good card. We've spent seven turns flooding and we're still at 16 getting hit by a 2-3 and a 2-1 and a 1-1 and a 1-1 and a 3-3 if this was any set made in the last two years having missed one of those lands would have resulted in us taking like eight damage we would have been dead by now so this is actually a great example of I still don't get why they're attacking with the 2-3 a great example. Oh, because they can pay to... Hang it. Sure. Oh, because they have a supernatural stamina. Okay. A great example of what I can't stand about modern magic. Like, we had a billion turns. In fact, eight turns to try to get back into this game. We failed. We failed. But any one of those turns could have gotten us back in. Whereas in modern limited, you simply do not get those turns.
stumble for a turn. Better hit that play button again. Um, we don't need a deadly recluse in this matchup, right? This matchup seems like a straightforward, like... Rakdos aggro-ish deck. They showed me a, a hint of... of um, sacrifice there at the end. But yeah, I think we'll just go back in. Okay, let's play first. Nope, can't keep that. Can certainly keep that though. Uh, let's pitch that Sky Knight. Let's go experiment one into a Bondkin. Good curve. Tapped land, I like it. Bondkin, grow the experiment one, give it first strike. Smashy, smashy. Seeker Squire. No counter. I like that. Chronicler of Heroes. Or a Cryptic Spires. Um, well, let's come in with Experiment 1 and outlast the Bondkin. Weird. It makes a boom sound when I hover over experiment one, but only experiment one. Strange. All right, let's outlast our dog soldier. So bolster, if you didn't know, is different than support. However, currently, due to both creatures having two toughness, we would get to choose the target. <sighs> that is a dead bondkin. Uh-huh. You're going to one me because you're not blocking. Smart. Uh, well, I'm going to two ya. And honestly, I think we just have to get going here. Like, lands are not cooperating with us. We have to hope that we can just smash them with beef. Because we are drawn like a moron. It is unfortunately in great range for uh, an augury spree. So they got a 2 2 that they can sack a creature to do their red exile a card play at this turn. Yada yada blingy bling. Oh my good god. <laughs> but again it's super indicative of how you have multiple turns to have land issues before things go south mm -hmm. Lion Seed Rhino out of nowhere. You got it. All right. I. Come on. <laughs> uh. We got to hope for some bad blocks here. Ooh, that's a fine block. Seven in our top 12. Hoof a doof. Three me. Two me. You have a giant... Oh my god. Why? Why is life so hard? <laughs> oh. 
All right, what's your plan here? Your plan is to disfigure it. Oops, you didn't actually disfigure it. They cancel each other out. Use your augury spree. I should not have hit F6 there. <sighs> I pushed F6 before I was able to regenerate it, but it does not appear to matter because we had nothing but lands on top of our deck. But again, 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 it was turn seven. At which having nothing but lands on top of the deck has begin has begun to be a problem. On turn six, five, four, three. That problem could have shifted entirely. In fact, being at nine, not in our not in our deck, because we don't have anything worthwhile, but in some decks, we could draw a card right here that turns it around. It's just a rampant growth to get us another land, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but we had eight turns of flood to potentially get back into this game you don't get that in modern sets four five six seven eight nine we're dead to attacks gross 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 however 50 percent of our money back 50 percent back for that one win and i think our deck was Fine. I think we just had significant land issues in multiple games. <laughs> it's the difference between this set and everything in the past two years, though. Those land issues sucked, but it was still fun enough, and it still felt like I had many, many turns to get back into the game. And that's what I think is missing. That's why I think I get so angry at the modern sets, is it's like, oh, I missed a land, and I took eight damage on turn three. And my opponent drew five cards off of their commons. And that's not fun. But this set is super fun, so we are going to continue drafting the heck out of this, even if we're one, two in every week. Um, that will get costly. So I suppose it's a good time to also mention I do have a Patreon over at patreon.com slash the Mandalik. There are some incredible patrons who keep this channel chugging along. If you'd like to go and support the channel there super duper directly, that would be very, very very good to uh <laughs> keep these uh, event tickets going um but as always you can find me over on twitter twitch it's been a long time since i've done this out outro the way that i usually do it you can find me over on facebook which don't bother that uh twitch and twitter at the mana leak yeah i don't know how this intro goes anymore it's been so long since i bothered because the facebook's not really used anymore uh twitter i certainly use uh, on the regular and twitch of course is a great place to come and hang out we have a great community there if you become a twitch subscriber or a patron you get to join the discord and we play board games all the time in the discord uh we usually have like 20 different board games going at any given time it's a super good time over there if you want to become a twitch subscriber or patron but check me out in those places let me know anything you want to let me know in the comments down below unless you are a whiny youtube arena person in which case i don't care what you think but the rest of you, I'll see y'all next time.